Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at this camera, the Canon XC10. Uh, it's small, it has a lens, it has a body, it has a handle, and the lens doesn't come off. So a couple of months ago, I was looking to shoot a long form sort of um, demonstration video in New York City. And the C200 was gonna be my A camera. Um, and then I was looking around for a B camera. I thought of using my 5D Mark III, but it doesn't shoot C-Log. But most importantly, it isn't 4K. So I couldn't leave the frame wide and then crop in and post when I wanted a tighter shot. I would have had to sit there zooming and zooming out the entire time. I looked at the um, 1DX and 1DC sort of cameras, uh, the DSLR form factored cinema cameras that do shoot 4K, but their 4K is cropped in there. Um, they also have limits on the amount of video and time you can record. Plus they're really expensive. Um, they're almost the price of the C200. That brought me to um, these little cameras. There's the XC10, which is this one, and there's the XC15, uh, which is a newer version. It has the same chip. It has a lot of the same controls. Uh, it just has a it has two important differences. One is a waveform monitor on the screen and the other one is a little box that sits on the cold shoe mount here um, and gives you XLR audio inputs. I wasn't using audio and I was gonna expose off the C200 so didn't need the waveform that particular time. So I got the XC10. It is a really nifty little camera. Um, it shoots it fits in your hand. Um, it has this rotating um, side grip for very similar to the C version. It has this um, articulating um, touchscreen LCD. Interestingly, it comes with uh, the 35 mil equivalent of a 24 to 240 millimeter lens um, that's set to the camera. It's not interchangeable lens. It has a very small chip in it um, and these are 35 equivalents. It's actually something like a 10 mil to a 60 mil lens. It takes LP6s, just like the Stills camera 5D Mark III. Um, it shoots, 4K, uh, shoots 2K to SD cards, but shoots 4K to CFast cards, um, same as the C200 does uh, for its RAW, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, has internal mic, uh, has face chasing autofocus um, that you can turn on and off. It has mic in, it has HDMI out, um, it has D uh, DC in, a headphone jack. For what this camera was new, is like $2,000. It packs a lot of punch. Um, I was really curious to get it and to test it and to see if it did what I wanted it to do. So first the advantages. The advantages are it's very small, it's very light. Uh, it shoots a long time um, for what you have. Uh, it shoots it very good quality um, in Canon's proprietary wrapper format. I think it's 300 megabits per second. Pretty much a made to measure B camera uh, for the C, the C series. If you have a C100, C300, C200, you need that second angle. You need uh, that, sh that uh, top down shot bolt this right to the top of a C stand to have a top down uh, product shot like I've used before here. You know, just a safety camera so that if for some crazy reason you run out of batteries or the car jams or something goes terribly wrong with your A camera, that you have a second camera with you at all times to get that shot if you need it. This is, this is a pretty good solution. You have an image stabilizer. You actually have uh, three stops of ND in here. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works. I guess there's a little, a tiny little uh, sunglasses that drops down in front of the sensor, um, which came in really handy when you were I was shooting outside and wanted to keep the um, aperture low. Speaking of aperture, this is a not a fixed um, f-stop lens. It goes from 2.8 uh, when it's uh, the widest, all the way to 5.6 when it's the closest or the longest. So you are gonna see, um, as you zoom in, um, you are gonna see, if you're wide open, the image grow darker. That's not ideal, that's probably one of the, that's probably one of the um, downsides to this. Another downside is the CFast card aspect. Um, if you wanna shoot for a couple of hours on this, you're gonna go out, you're gonna spend $2,000 on the camera and then go out and spend almost another $1,000 on um, two, 256 gig. Uh, CFast cards. Uh, 
I guess the, the form factor is so small that they weren't able to put in enough processing power to bring the size of the um, files down and put it onto the SD card. So we're stuck with CFast cards, but if you have them, like I have them for the C200 anyway, it's not that big a deal. I found it to be a perfect gimbal camera um, because it has a screen built in. Um, it's small, it's light, uh, it's pretty wide at 24 mil it's um you know perfect gimbal uh sort of size if you could take this off that'd be great but it's what gives the power to the camera so it is a little bit left weighted um you can see here that the center of gravity is sort of not right over the lens but a little bit this way i tried it on the um uh, tilde gravity and it was phenomenal actually you could you know it, it really was able to manipulate it with no trouble at all and get very very smooth motion in 4k c log that you can cut straight into your um, videos matching this with the c200 wasn't as easy as i first thought it would be you do need to do a little bit more finicking in uh, in post to get the colors to match um, it isn't a case of drag and drop even if you're using c log or c log 2 like i am on the c200 and c log on this they're just a little bit different. They're different chips. It's much closer than trying to match the 5D Mark III non-C log, you know, Rec. 709 color space to um, a C log color space on the C200. That's my sum up of the Canon XC10. Um, hope you dug it. Uh, there will be, I believe, an XC20 coming out. There's also a patent um, that people have found on the internet for a removable lens version of this. I'd be kind of tempted to get that one. Uh, except for the fact that you're then now spending thousands of dollars of lenses um, on your B camera. Whereas, you know, this lens is, it's a Canon lens. It, it looks good. It works pretty well. Um, I think you, you can overthink B camera and get carried away. It's best when you just keep it simple, use it for a few shots. It's a million times better than a GoPro um, or an iPhone shot. Fits much better into my workflow and yeah, happy with it. Thanks Canon for the lend of the camera. That's my review of the Canon XC10. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.